Uh, my name is Algis. I'm the founder of uh, The Hard Men Kenya. And uh, today we have just come here to celebrate NGO week. And it has been a, a great day for us as NGO coming together as a family. Just knowing each other, what they are doing and having conversation, how we can just come together and partner and uh, support each other as we go around serving in the community. Especially as the admin Kenya, we came together now this uh, eight years. We are just coming together and sharing and opening up uh, 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 as men because men we are really going through a lot. We are struggling as men. Uh, and we want just men and young men to come together and open and share the challenge that uh, we are struggling. Uh, so uh, my encouragement to men that let us take our position as men, let us talk. Okay, when you have issues, just come out and create a relationship with your brother, have conversation, share with him when you're struggling, if maybe you need any help, just open up because men are real dying inside. We are struggling because of alcohol, we are struggling because of drugs, we are struggling because of pornography, and we are asking men like to see Kufen, just come out, and also a young men so that we can be able to share and open up to each other. And uh, that's what we are urging men in our country. And uh, we thank God, like the hard men Kenya, we are operating here in Nakuru. We have in uh, Eldoret, and Bungoma, Kakamega, Busia, and also uh, Kitale, and we have another one in Tanzania, Mwanza. So we are asking all men all over the country, all over the world, that don't die inside as a man. Create a relationship with the brother, create a trust with a brother, and just come up and let us talk. So we are teaching number one men to become great men, uh, a father, husband, and uh, yeah, my encouragement to men like uh, don't go home and do silly stuff. Just uh, open up because I know it is a month of uh, where uh, awareness for men, and we are encouraging men that let us come, uh, let us come out, and let us share our struggle. That's why we are encouraging men that don't die inside. Create a relationship with your brother. Go around with him and. Uh, uh, let us just uh, talk because that is will be a solution. When you speak where you are struggling, that's how you get healed. Than just going killing our wives, killing our children, doing something that is not advisable. So we are encouraging men that don't do things that uh, is not uh, good for for you as a father, as a man, as a husband. Because at the watering hole, number one, we are a Christian organization, so we have Bibles there that we give for free for men to read. We have good materials for uh, young men and married men. So we have programs that we do at the watering hole. We have a program on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Sunday afternoon. Just different men, so we come together. And through that program, we have seen men and young men changing. Right now, we have been through with 300 men and young men, so we thank God for that. I'm a member and a leader at the Hardman in Kenya, and the major benefit I've gotten from the Hardman in Kenya is that uh, I've been able to at least identify where I can be my woman as a father, as a husband, and as a man in general. And uh, I got invited at the Hard Men on uh, September last year by Sir Algias, the founder of the Hard Men Kenya. And from there, I'm pretty sure that uh, I've done some few uh, here and there as a man. And now that I'm part of the family, I'm able to actually protect my family in all this. So, the benefit of being part of the Hard Men Kenya is to ensure that you have the intentionality of what you want in life. Uh, about the Hard, uh, we truly embrace the boy child and the married man and unmarried. So you're welcome and highly appreciated. So about being a man, uh, it's a journey, it's an every trial and um, I'm happy to be part of it. Uh, on the other end of being a father, uh, yes, I've been there, and apparently uh, I still hope to get to that level again because it doesn't mean that when you lose a child, 
you lose your mantle as a father. But again, you get to father even your friends, even your fellow young uh, boys who are looking up to you. And uh, as a husband, I'm very lucky to have a beautiful person in my life. And uh, I embody that whatever I learn from the heart, this community of hard men, I get to embrace it as a husband towards my family, to my wife, to my kids who will come later on eventually. Uh, my name is Fidel Chen. I'm also a member uh, from the Hard Men Scheme. Uh, I'd like to talk about uh, the challenges that the youths are passing outside here uh, in terms of uh, drugs, when it comes to drugs. Uh, many youths here outside are passing through many challenges, especially drugs when it comes to bang, uh, alcohol, is tobacco. Yeah, so I would like to urge my fellow uh, youth men that uh, let us try and avoid uh, these things because they are not helpful to our body and also our community. Um, in terms of uh, also also in the hard men Kenya, we also talk about. Uh, mental health, mental issues, uh, because uh, we know that uh, most men are going through a lot of uh, mental issues, mental health problems. So um, what I can say is that uh, the hard men Kenya of the, of the watering hole is a nice place to be for us as the young men. Um, thank you. Uh, my name is Steven Nganga Juguna, a uh, member of the Hard Men presenting youths in campus and colleges. What I can urge the youth to say is that we as a youth in colleges, we are sometimes affected by mental health in thinking of how our future can be, and it ends up missing, missing us in real life by going diverting to drugs and alcohol. That's why I joined the hard men. And as a mentor, being a mentor from 2021, we have faced the experience of youths turning into drugs due to college and university stress. Moreover, the monetary value, the, the upkeep and the lack of money because of the backgrounds they are coming from and the expectation from the society. That's why they are turning their the way and messing up their life in drugs and substance abuse. I'd like to tell them that the mental health is the key to success in this journey of life. Yeah, thank you. We can encourage people to join the hard men in Kenya so that they can open up their problems and we can find the ways to solve them and they can be good to go in life outside here because it's a bit tough for us as men by taking up the responsibilities in life and family and the future comings and expectation, expectations of us. Thank you. If you would like to join the Hard Men Kenya, we are in Teachers Estate near uh, Teachers Social Hall. We have our office there called the Watering Hall. You will find us there and we will welcome you there and we will be able just to sit down and talk and have conversation. And also we are in the social media. You can find us on YouTube, on Facebook, Instagram. We have our website and uh, also we have our contact where you can just call someone in our office just to be able to reach you and be there for you as a man.